This budget is being prepared with a very select group being invited to present views and proposals, while the main opposition coalition grouping, which represents over 49% of the Guyanese people, has been systematically excluded from these consultations. This assertion was made by the leader on Friday during a virtual press briefing. It is expected that Budget 2022 will be completed and presented to the National Assembly by the end of this month. Norton, in a press conference last week, called on the government to make the budget people-centered, which he stated is the key to addressing the high cost of living. During that forum, a number of recommendations were put forward by the leader, including an increase in the income tax threshold to $1.5 million from the present $780,000, a change in the income tax law to ensure that the minimum wage is never taxed, as well as an increase for elderly pension. Against this backdrop, while it is Norton's desire that his proposals be considered, he acknowledged that government has a choice in the matter. To the extent that the opposition wasn't included in the consultations for the preparation of the budget, that in itself is worrying. However, I am of the view that we have placed this information out there. The government has the right to utilize it or not to utilize it. But we believe that these measures are critical to improving the lives of the Guyanese people. Nevertheless, he vows to continue to advocate his budgetary proposals. As such, in addition to the list of inclusions that were proffered last week, the leader now has three new suggestions, including the introduction of the earned income tax credit into the tax system, which he said will ensure that low-income workers get support from the government by filing a return even though they might have no taxes to pay. On another note, a call was also made for the creation of more business opportunities, which Norton suggests can be achieved through the establishment of industrial sites in depressed communities. This needs to be done in communities that need them most and should eschew the discrimination that is part of the PPPC usual mode of operation. It was noted that the lack of economic freedom remains a concern as many private businesses are being frustrated in their efforts to participate in the economy. Additionally, Norton expects that the budget will cater for food security. It was conveyed that the requisite financial infrastructure and risk protection architecture must be put in place to keep food production. To this end, it was disclosed that the party is putting a team together to examine how any threat to the country's food security can be avoided. Meanwhile, with the passage of the Natural Resource Fund Act still a controversial issue, the leader is proposing the adoption of a digital currency. Norton opined that Natural Resource Fund is at risk, as such the adoption of a digital currency is urgent to prevent corruption. A digital currency would outweigh the cost of doing nothing. A digital currency will help to reduce corruption significantly since the audit trail of government spending will be easy to follow. For the HDP Nightly News, Kendall Richmond.